Justin, I realise you're having trouble working out the lights flashing on this tumble dryer and it's not heating, so I thought I'd make this quick video for you. Um, we'll go through the wiring diagram in a second. You must remember with our videos that we make, there are thousands of different models of uh, candy tumble dryer over the years, and the wiring does change on each individual tumble dryer. So I've got the exploded diagram here for you in a second of your tumble dryer with the wiring configuration, and we'll talk through the circuit. But you're going to need to check all the thermostats, the NTC sensor, the heating element, and also the relays on the circuit board. There's a couple of relays, and one of those relays is there to activate and deactivate the heating system as required as the thermostats and NTC sensors get to the correct temperature and this is called cycling. And the relay is what actually controls the heating system coming on and off. Now, if you have an error with any of the circuit whatsoever, then it will come up with flashing lights. Now, yours doesn't have a digital display, but the flashing light sequence might be indicating what the error code is. But we'll go through the whole circuit diagram now. Okay, Justin, first things first, I brought up the wiring diagram for the GOC58F80. Now, if your model number is different, because you have sent us the model number, but I've just found out there are four variations of this machine. Uh, you have an identification label on the machine where you should have a number beginning with three. Uh, but I'm bringing up the wiring diagram for this top one here to assist you. Now, let's just talk about the basics on the wiring diagram here, and I'll put the links in the description on this video for you to get the wiring diagram and also any videos that I talk about uh, while I'm actually doing this for you. So here we have the electricity coming into the machine, which goes through the, through the suppressor to the circuit board. From the circuit board, the electricity goes through to the element. And according to this wiring diagram, we have three wires going to the element. We have a red, a black, and a yellow over here. Now, on the element itself, you have two thermostats, or what you will think is thermostats. One is actually a thermal fuse. And I'll see if I can bring a picture up of this for you. This is the thermal fuse. Uh, this is a very common item to go wrong. What actually people do is open the door mid-cycle or they open the door, find out the clothes are dry and they just empty the machine and leave the machine with the door open. The problem is the residual heat on, around the element can sometimes exceed 206 degrees that you can see written on this. And if that happens, you will blow the thermal fuse. Other things that blow the thermal fuse is when people do not maintain the machine correctly. This means that you don't do any maintenance on the machine and clean the fluff uh, that builds up inside the ducting system on the heat exchanger and, and also through the ducting system on the tumble dryer. So it's very important to do this. So we've got the uh, thermostat which cycles. The manufacturer doesn't tell me what uh, temperature degree this cycles at but normally it's somewhere in the region of 70, 80 degrees. Uh, then we have a thermal fuse. We have, according to this, two sides of the element. The element will be somewhere in the region of a two kilowatt element. And you need to make sure that the two circuits for the heating element have got continuity on each side. This means that you've got a high heat and a low heat circuit, and you should have um, a wattage value of something in the region of about 11, 1200 watts on each side of the circuit. Uh, so a combined circuit will be roughly about 2400 if it was 1200, and each individual one will be 1200. So you want to do an ohms reading and use ohms law calculator to work out your resistance in ohms to work out if the wattage is showing correctly. So what else have we got on this machine? We have looks like a front NTC sensor, which would be at the bottom of the machine, uh, sorry, at the top of the machine. And we have an NTC sensor at the bottom of the machine, according to this wiring diagram. Now, this manufacturer does not give me the ohms resistance, which is needed to actually if, to understand if the NTC sensor is correct. There is another video in the description below to show you how NTC sensors work. 
and how to actually measure MTC sensors using Ohm's law again, because what they will have is a resistance of say 5,000 ohms at 25 degrees. And you would be able to put the NTC sensor into a controlled environment of 25 degrees, measure the resistance in ohms to make sure that it's correct, then increase the temperature to 30 and the ohms resistance should drop. Uh, that's basic, basically how the NTC sensors work. This then tells the circuit board what is happening. Now, there's a relay on the circuit board, which will be the higher ampage relay. I haven't got a picture of this specific circuit board, but you will be able to follow the wiring on the circuit board to the correct relay. You normally have a one, two or three relays on the circuit board to do different functions. One of the relays is there to turn the heater on and off at the required temperature. I'll put all the links to this wiring diagram and other videos in the description below to assist you. But at least you've got the wiring diagram for your machine. Thanks very much. I hope this helped you.